Hi there, my name is Mr Moyer uh, and I'm the head teacher of Bradley Soak Community School, which hopefully lots of you uh, knew already, who've got uh, friends and uh, siblings in the school, uh, but also I'm aware that I wasn't um, at open evening this year, very unusual, um, because I was um, quite poorly, uh, and you'll have met Mr Lynch, uh, who did a stunning job, who is deputy head teacher. Anyway, I just wanted to um, to say how much we're looking forward to welcoming you into our, the Bradley Stoke Community School community um, and uh, I hope that you have uh, enjoyed the um, film that has been put together for you. It's really been put together for uh, students, um, for year six students but, but also for families as well uh, and hopefully gives you a really nice insight into um, what coming to the school is like. Obviously we're in some pretty unusual circumstances at the moment with the lockdown and the partial school closure. So you won't, you'll have seen a, a, hopefully a, a really useful tour of the school, but the school's really different when it's full of um, 1,300 students and uh, a couple of hundred staff. So, um, but hopefully that was useful. I think one of the things I wanted to, to say and to reiterate is that you know we are really looking forward to wanting you in. We're really looking forward to you being part of our extended family um, and we do really understand um, the unique set of circumstances that we're all experiencing at the moment. So we want to be reassuring that hopefully things will be um, starting as normal in September uh, and we'll be in constant uh, contact with you uh, about those plans um, if they stay as, as we hope they will and how we'll start the year. Uh, and if there are any changes, how that will affect you. Um, but fingers crossed, uh, we'll all be in school together uh, a bit more normally uh, in September. Um, I hope that this, this um, film was useful, but I just wanted to reiterate a few things. So um, our, our kind of vision is uh, around three words. It's around um, inspire, believe and succeed. And I just wanted to talk about what those things should mean to you. Um, so, for example, the inspire aspect is all about um, how you're learning and being part of school and part of life. Being a young person should be a really inspirational experience for you. You know, there's a, so much to learn, so much to experience in the world. Um, and, and we as educators and um, all of our staff and, and, and what the school should be about is about inspiring you in, in all of those things, in, in your learning, in looking at uh, future opportunities, careers, all of those things, um, and hopefully engendering real curiosity for you to find out about those things. But I also, um, as a school, we have really high expectations of you and what you bring, because also, whilst we want to hopefully inspire you in ways, you should be looking to be inspired, to be engaged, to, to really challenge yourself um, and one of the reasons why we've had uh, such success in, in lots of ways as a school has been about that drive from our young people within the school as leaders um, as well as um, in their learning uh, and in their personal life. So that inspire is really, really important, but it is as much coming from us uh, in the school community and also from you. So please, we do expect you, please bring that with you. I think it's really, really important for school and for life as well. And obviously believing, and believe is, is the second word within our vision. Um, and, and believing in yourself and applying yourself really is, is what a lot of what we mean there. So it's the positive actions um, to make something happen. It's the effort that you put into things. And, and what we always say to you is, if you were trying your very best, if you were doing your best, no one can ever criticize you. Um, and, and you won't always get everything right, that's, that's learning, you know, and it's about what you do next that's really, really important. But if you're giving your best and trying your best, um, you will fit in, you will be welcome, uh, and you will, uh, moving on to the last word in our vision um, statement is, is succeed. Because we know from past students, um, from uh, life, from all of those things, that uh, if you work hard, if you give your very best, if you are engaged in everything, you will succeed, you will achieve. And when we talk about that, we mean achieving in qualifications, in your education, in your learning. We want you to leave our school with the very best qualifications you can to support you into your next steps of life. 
Um, but we also absolutely believe in succeeding and achieving in life is all about the person, the well-rounded individual that you become. And one of the things that we will talk to you about is the way we do things at Bradley Stoke. And that's really important to us, our culture. And a core part of our culture is, I would just call kindness. It is about acts of kindness to one another, being kind in your thoughts and your actions. You know, we want to be a supportive community to one another. And if you always keep in mind, you know, was, was I being kind there? Was that person kind to me? It's a very, very simple word. Um, and it entails things like respect as well. But all of those um, values and what we want to be and what we want to engender in, in you as uh, young people is, is kindness and the, the importance of that. Um, so the IBS, Inspire, Believe and Succeed, is, is very, very important in all aspects of our school. Uh, and we know that you're going to contribute to that and be a massive part of that. I do hope you, you're feeling exciting about joining us. Um, I know uh, that you're going to make um, a real contribution um, and that you're going to have a really good time in the next five or even seven years, hopefully, uh, that you're going to spend with us uh, at Bradley Stoke. Um, there will be lots of follow-up information, lots more contact. We will certainly have an event, whether that will be an online event, most likely um, in July as well. Um, and if you have any questions, any worries, any concerns, then please do get in touch. Probably uh, the email address, the school email address, it will then be forwarded to the right people. But all the best. Take care of yourselves and your families.